Hi, I'm Kristen. And I'm Heather. And welcome to The Marthaverse. In each episode, we take you into the hearts and homes of Martha Stewart fans all around the world. So what do we have this week? We have two viewer submissions, Cynthia and Justin, taking out their cameras. Remember when we were at the tech sale? Yes. And we got into the van. <laughs> yes. And I was still in, uh, like... Shock? Yeah, shock. And the guy in the front seat was all like, everybody. Yeah. And uh, we were like, ah, right. that is Justin Anderson. I heard he sent something he in. He did. And I was so excited because I was like, I know him. We know him. I know him. That's right. I want to hear more about him. But Because right now, all I know is he was in my Instagram stories for a hot second. So on top of him being at Martha Stewart's tag sale, right. he also attended the American Made event in the fall of 2014. Where you were. Where I attended as well. Gotcha. So and I don't know if I some sort of lottery where like people who were selected? Yes. Okay. To go have lunch with her. And? Yes. So you and Justin? We were both chosen. Oh exactly. Oh my goodness. This is like sliding doors. So there's Gwyneth Paltrow. An interesting piece in his video about something he picked up at the tag sale. Oh, we'll have to check it out. Connected to the American Made Awards. All right. Here's his story because it's a pretty good one. Howdy, Kristen, Heather, and the Marthaverse. Welcome to my historic home in downtown Fort Worth, Texas. Hi, I'm Justin Anderson. I'm a lifelong consumer products entrepreneur, and I'm also uh, passionate about marketing, and I love making fun YouTube and TikTok videos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Martha has inspired me over the years in my career as a food products entrepreneur by showing me the importance of using high quality ingredients, testing recipes, and making delicious flavors that are easily accessible by all Americans. My first memory of Martha was when I was 10 years old, I was watching Martha Stewart Living and she had a guest on who was showing us how to make beef jerky. As a Boy Scout, I had never tried making beef jerky, but I was interested in learning how. So at the end of the segment, right before Martha and her guests try their beef jerky, Martha says, let's have a beer. Vance, how about a beer? You want a beer? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the day is almost over. We can have a beer. <laughs> and then she asks her guest, would you like a glass? And then right before he could answer, Martha says, we don't need a glass. It's the end of the day. Looks great. Here's here's a glass. A glass or in the bottle? I'm out of the bottle. Okay. Forget the glasses. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Happy trails. Happy trails to you. And they knock back those beers. So even at 10 years old, I thought that was hilarious. And I knew that there was something really special with this woman. A few years ago, I was at Martha Stewart American Made and I was invited to have lunch with Martha. I attended with my colleague Camille. At the time I was building my snack foods brand, Woats Oat Snack. And they led us into where we were having lunch with Martha. Camille was to my right, Martha was on my left and the plates come down. As soon as it hits the table, Camille says, I love quiche. And without skipping a beat, Martha says, it's frittata. <laughs> so last April I was in Paris and I saw that Martha had posted something about a tag sale. I was able to get a ticket and in order to go back home to Texas, I had to go to London first. And while I was in London, got a pedicure, I painted my left foot royal purple in honor of Queen Elizabeth's birthday, which had just happened. And then my right foot, I painted Bedford Gray. When I was at the tag sale, I visited with Martha and I told her the story about my pedicure. She looks down and she says, you should have painted both Bedford Gray. <laughs> I ended up buying all of Martha's drab wear and I found some really cool gadgets and a couple of DVDs and books. And at that point, I thought I was done shopping for the day. And then I went to the area where there was a lot of furniture and I found these two chairs that actually were the chairs that we sat in when we had lunch all those years ago at American Made. I saw those chairs and I knew I had to have them. When I looked under the chair to inspect it, I saw that there was a stamp that said personal property of Martha Stewart, which that's really cool to, to, to have that uh, little certificate or stamp of authenticity on the chair. So after I had purchased the chairs, I was asked to do an interview for Martha's Great American Tag Sale special for ABC. I was told by the producer that I would have to wait until the national premiere of the Great American Tag Sale with Martha Stewart to see if my interview made it to the show. 
I thought it'd be fun to have a watch party here in Fort Worth, and I created invitations to send to all my friends and family, and I even sent one to Martha, along with a letter from Fort Worth Mayor Maddie Parker officially inviting Martha to attend the watch party. Martha was kind enough to respond to my invitation and let me know that she could not make it to the watch party, but that she loved that I was putting it on and she asked to see some photos from the evening. I had over 150 friends and family at the watch party and we even filmed my reaction to seeing myself on national TV for the first time. <laughs> Martha has such an impact on her fans the way that she does because Martha is passionate about teaching. She does it in a way that is very welcoming and whether you are a first timer or a pro, there's something that you are going to learn from Martha. She encourages you to give it your best shot and then build your experience over time. Thank you to the Marthaverse for giving me the chance to share my Martha stories and experiences and for letting me show off some of my treasures that I got from the Great American Tag Sale with Martha Stewart. Well, that was fun to see Justin again. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. What I a fan. That. I'm thinking about getting a, um, a stamp on my lower back, which I know is totally on trend right now, that just says property of Martha Stewart. Personal property. Yeah, personal uh, yeah, property of Martha right, Stewart. Right, exactly, yes. yes. Yeah. Well, that's what his chairs say, and so. Justin, uh, I would love to say that I'm the kind of person that's like, oh, I have steaks ready to be seasoned with Bel Air Ranch, but you know I don't. In fact, if you're looking to sponsor us, uh, we right now are really just looking for a helicopter, a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so that's what we're in the market go for. find me helicopter yep. with, with steak ranch yeah, seasoning. Yeah, we will splash yep. your seasoning all over that. <laughs> um, no, it was so much fun to see that. Uh, your viewing party, I mean, come on. Yes. Unbelievable. Bravo, very well done. And what do we know about Cynthia? So Cynthia was a uh, clothing designer and photographer, and she also has a historic home that she renovated, she and her husband, Josh. Great, what's their Martha tie-in? So they actually had been a part of Martha's wedding magazine. God, gotcha. oh right, because they're photographers. Right, launched okay. their career, <gasps> exactly. Oh. And they've been, a, she's been a great source of inspiration for them. And they also went to the tag sale. Okay, And they've got, so they're photographers and uh, clothing designers yes, and Martha fans because Martha kind of launched there. I think so. I Great. think yes She's been a huge inspiration. They also love dogs and they found something at the tag sale that has a dog theme That she wanted to share with us. There was something for everyone there. Can't wait to see the video Martha and friends, welcome to Arthur Hill. Please come in. Arthur Hill is located in the Hudson Highlands, uh, just north of New York City along the Hudson River. We purchased the house eight years ago after living in Manhattan for several years. We just needed more space for our, our growing business and we wanted more space for the dogs who are at the center of our family. It was built in 1923 by an artist who made a living as an illustrator for McCall's and the American Kennel Club magazines. The name Arthur Hill comes from our first, named Arthur or Artie. Artie was adopted in 2010. He was a puppy rescued from a puppy mill. And adopting him changed our lives in the best way possible. Artie's incredible love and the joy he has brought into our lives inspired us to open our home to other puppy mall rescues alongside our dear cats that we had at the time. This experience of having these incredible dogs and cats in my life led me to start our own nonprofit for Animal Rescue. Our connection with Martha Stewart began back in the 1990s. Josh and I studied art, design, and photography in college. And when we graduated, we knew we wanted to start our own business together and make a living as artists. We started to create documentary photography of special events and weddings in particular. We were very specialized because we photographed with an unusual approach at the time. Most wedding photography was all about lining people up in a row, posing them. But we were capturing the authentic and honest moments from the day and creating art from them. We had our own dark room. We hand printed silver gelatin photographs for our clients. 
We presented them in clamshell presentation boxes that I created by hand with fine linen book cloth. And we matted and framed a collection of art for the clients and pre presented it to them after the event. I mean, it was such detailed work and so time consuming, but we loved it and we loved doing it and working together. So we looked locally for magazines and shows for ways to reach our audience, but it just wasn't enough to accomplish what we were envisioning for our artwork. We needed basically a more national audience who would more fully appreciate the meaning and detail behind our, our artwork. So it was then that we turned to Martha Stewart to find the clients that we needed. I, and I looked to Martha's magazines and books at the time. She had a, an outstanding weddings magazine that I used to guide us when we were planning our own wedding. I mean, her magazines in the 1990s were the ultimate. They had such a powerful voice, especially when social media didn't exist. The media was on paper or through television at the time. I mean, she was a powerhouse in both. And what I appreciated about her then was that she wasn't watered down to reach the lowest common denominator. I mean, she had a genuine love of antiques, art, and quality. And she still does to this day. So we contacted her magazine to see if we could advertise through it. Uh, and just to give you an idea of how huge Martha was at the time, there was the most stringent screening of advertisers. I mean, she didn't just let anyone onto the pages of her magazine. They were carefully curated. So it was truly an honor when our work was chosen to be featured in her publications. We traveled all over the United States from the Allegheny Mountains to New Orleans to Santa Barbara. We photographed out of the country uh, in extraordinary settings along the Pacific and in the Canadian Rockies. And all of these opportunities happened because our work was in Martha's magazines. Our documentary photography work is actually what started my clothing design business called Ivy Abbott's, which is our two last names combined. The artwork we create to this day is all rooted in the chance we took on contacting Martha Stewart's company about being in her magazines. So when we were approached to take part in this video project, I said yes without hesitation. It is giving me the opportunity to thank Martha for taking a chance on us too. So thank you, Martha. We are so grateful for you. And I'm also grateful that Martha decided to have a tag sale last year at her house here in the Hudson Valley. And we don't live that far away from one another. So when I first learned about the sale and that it was going to raise money for a good cause, I just knew I had to go. There was no question. <laughs> uh, my parents are antique collectors and they restored antiques for over 40 years. So I grew up going to estate sales and tag sales with them. As far as treasures for me, well, I knew that I had to be very selective or else I'd spend all of my savings on everything that I saw. So my quest was to find something special for my antique textile collection. As a clothing designer, fabrics are a visual language that are so integral to what I do. And antique textiles are featured throughout our entire home. Since dogs are at the center of our family, I've incorporated dog motifs throughout the entire home. It's a visual reminder of their importance in our lives. And it's quite subtle, actually, but their significance is featured in every single room of the house. So when I arrived at Martha's sale and I saw an antique folk art rug with a dog on it, there was no question at all that it was going to be the treasure that I purchased that day. I knew it would feel right at home here. And I purchased it in honor of our dog Tilly. Tilly we adopted shortly before the sale and she was an extra special girl. She was a senior dog from a high kill animal control facility in Kentucky. A wonderful rescue group there stopped her from being euthanized just moments before it was about to happen. We only had her for eight months but they were some of the sweetest of my life because she was in them. When I brought the rug 
home from Martha's sale. I immediately took it up to my painting studio, put it on the floor, and I let Tilly nap on it. I know that many people who collect folk art rugs would have immediately stored it away out of the sunlight and only handle it with white gloves, but not here, not here at Arthur Hill. I let Tilly sit on it, sleep on it, and enjoy it. She knew that it was special and she knew that I got it for her. After she died, I wanted to feature the rug in some way to always remember her. So because this is a gathering place for the whole family um, and it's so dog friendly, we thought it was appropriate to feature the rug uh, at the center of the space. It's a very special room uh, and a place that we all come to as a pack and relax after a long day of work with Tilly's rug, as I now call it, watching over us. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this glimpse of Arthur Hill, and goodbye for now. Okay, everyone, let's go inside. Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, Arthur Hill. Wow. I know, what an amazing video. You could tell they're artists. Fabulous. It was great to see the inside. It was so great to see what they're doing with the dogs. Yes. And the dog rug that they got at the tag sale just fit right in with everything um, that they are and do. Clearly. Thank you so much, Cynthia and Josh, for sending that in. So much work went into that, and we loved, loved seeing it. Very, very, very influenced by Martha Stewart and it shows, because yes. they have a wonderful eye, artistic representation. So thank you so much for sending it in. Impressed by what you saw today? Impress us. Send us in a video. We'd love to see what you're doing. We'd love to see your Martha connection. And how are we going to know you're out there if you don't send it in? So look for us on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or send us an email at themarthaverse at gmail.com. On the next episode of The, the Marthaverse. Martha Okay. We were walking toward the front and she was coming in. And Asher uh, was able to get Martha to sign oh, uh, the Brito painting. That is great. And what's this say? Martha Stewart. Martha oh. Stewart. Until then, I'm Kristen. And I'm Heather. And we can't wait to see you here in The, the Marthaverse. Martha Howdy, Kristen, Heather, and The Marthaverse. Welcome to. <laughs> okay. Because this is a gather. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Those shoes. Oh my god. I know. Woo!